Well, hey, um, I'm on the walk to uni right now, and it, uh, it's absolutely freezing, and it's absolutely gorgeous. But um, I've been at art school for a while, and I'd, uh, I'm about to finish my full first term up at Christmas. And it, uh, I thought I would tell you how it is, because it, it's pretty awesome. The worst thing about Hartlepool is this crossing. Yay! Why? It's, just, it's morning. <laughs> it was fun in the morning. I met up with people. They'll tell you about uni too, probably. Right. You know, you do things. You live. You live life. You um. You go in. You get a lecture. And if you're me, you play Pokemon. <laughs> you ain't gonna do those questions anymore. You picked your question. You okay? What? You, you oh. guys, you guys talking about? I was talking to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is my review of art school so far. Um, I have been here for one term, um, and I've been studying at CCAD, which has been awesome. So this is going to be a positive review, if you can't tell. Um, I went to art school because, you know, I, I was uncertain about it at first because a lot of people are saying that you can work in a creative industry without having to go to university, and that's very true. But it, it can benefit you in a lot of different ways, such as developing different, like, connections to different people, learning how the industry works and manages different things and that's why I went to uni because this specific course that I'm doing, Illustration for Commercial Application, teaches me basically how to draw for one, which is the bit you can do on your own at home, and then how to run business, which is the bit that, you know, this can help with. You know, how to work in a creative world, um, work in specific areas of the industry, you know, if you're working for a company, like in design, like in a house, or, you know, any of those areas, it helps you a lot with that. Um, and that's why the lectures are so valuable, because what's different about art school to other schools is that you get a lot more one-on-one -on -one lecturer time, and it's like, you know, with seminars and talking to, to teachers directly and having tutorials. Um, so about CCAD, one of the amazing things about CCAD is the accommodation. And it, um, personally I went to the one that was further away from the town because you got your own like kitchen and bathroom and stuff for um, a very low price. And so let me show you around. So let's do a review of module one, which is the mo module that's all about experimentation. And what's important to know here is that the lecturers and tutors do not know you yet. They don't know your kind of styles, they don't know what you like and don't like to do, they just want to see what you can do. So experiment with everything, every kind of media, every kind of thing, um, show them whether you are one type of person or another type of person, this is basically the time when they get to know you. And it, um, in some ways you, you get to know what you're good at as well and what you can use in the future. Because obviously what I use a lot of the time is uh, pen and stuff. But I've found that I can and can't use different mediums, like uh, drawing digitally, I like that. But um, drawing with oil pastels, I hate that. <laughs> As far as written work goes, we get two modules for written work. We get visual culture and professional studies, both of which help you in terms of like, you know, getting to know artists, getting to know uh, styles and types. And it, in professional studies, obviously getting to know more about the industry and the professional world. Um, so as much as, you know, they are essays and they are written tasks, they're still very useful. and it can still be quite enjoyable. 
A good thing specifically about CCAD is um, the help with dyslexia and disabled students help and stuff like that because um, when you come here if you've never done a dyslexia test before they make you do um, a small test thing to see if on the system anyone flags up and from that um, if you do flag up they'll give you different tutorials with Marie who was wonderful and it, um, then you can have like a proper dyslexia assessment and so long as you go through the motions and everything they'll help and they'll pay for everything and it, it's really useful and really good of them. A lot of concerns that people come up with with um, art school and going to university at all is um, finance and as far as CCAD goes obviously um, Cleveland College of Art and Design is in Hartlepool um, which isn't too expensive in an area to live in terms of buying, shopping and all that and the accommodation is very cheap, CCAD makes sure of that, they're aware that everyone's on a budget and they help everyone out as much as they can, they give different bursaries out for different things so you get grade bursaries for doing so well um, and you get you know bursaries if you don't have a lot of money coming in, stuff like that. Okay, one of the places that people have a lot of concern is in terms of getting work in a creative career, in a creative industry, and that's not as much of a concern as people seem to think it is. According to the Department for Culture and Media, the Department for Culture, Media and Sport in, you know, the creative industries in the UK, is that um, the creative industries provide over 1,808,000 um, jobs to people which is, is a 5.5 .5 increase since 2013, so still going strong, still going steady. <laughs> so yeah, that's my art school review. Um, I hope this was helpful to anyone who was deciding whether to go to university or not, uh, or anything like that, and um, bye!